Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Cool Life Man 100X. If you want to build your YouTube channel, go to VidIQ. These are the list of plans that you can use to build your YouTube channel. Link will be in the description below. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Cool Life Man 100X. Welcome back to another NBA 2K22 tip. I'm going to show you guys how you'll be able to get traded anywhere in the NBA. I'm going to give you step by step on how to get traded to any team and help you get to that team as soon as possible. So let's jump right into it. OK, guys, the team you want to go to is the Los Angeles Lakers. The reason why you want to go to the Los Angeles Lakers, because you can be able to get your playmaking badges, your shooting badges, defensive badges and all the above badges that you want to get and be able to run the pick and roll a little bit more effectively and also play defense as you're fast breaking. So I recommend picking the Los Angeles Lakers for your best team to get on trade wise. So if you want to be able to get your badges way more faster, I do recommend getting the Los Angeles Lakers. Now let's move on to the next part. All right, guys, you want to go through the season and play about 26 games or shorter. You want to make sure the quarters are on five minutes or 12 and had a difficulty on pro or hall of fame, depending on your choice on how you want to utilize that technique to make sure you play all the games to get the trade deadline so you can be able to meet the meetings with these people so you can be able to trade to these teams that you want. So make sure you pick the three teams that you want when the trade happens. You can definitely go to these teams that you want. You can actually get there and make sure the percentages are high for these teams. So let's go to the next part. All right, guys. So you want to pick the choice of you want to fresh start somewhere else because you're going to be starting the rumors and you're going to be meeting with your first time with the manager talking about the rumors and you just want to choose that category which would be you want to start a fresh start somewhere else so let's move on to the next part Okay, guys, now we're going to be choosing this is not a healthy environment for me. So when you talk to the GM, you can tell them this is not a healthy environment I want to be at. When you get to this choice and this meeting with the GM, you actually want to choose that choice. So you can be able to trade to another team so the stir can start starting up with different interviews and other stuff as well. So let's go on to the next part. All right, guys, you're going to have another meeting with the manager talking about all the type of friends that you're losing and stuff like that. You're pretty much going to tell them the details about this is a business and really need to focus on if you want to work anywhere you want to work. It's pretty much not about the decision of the GM and other things as well. Pretty much a quick meeting with the manager. Nothing in particular. Make sure you look out for that so you can closer to your trade. All right, guys, let's move on. Okay, guys, you're going to meet up with a journalist and you definitely want to answer this. Yes, it's accurate because it's going to give you the accurate list of uh, places that you wanted to go and your firm on standing with that for the journalist. So make sure you answer that question. Yes, it's accurate. And I'll get you closer to the trade. All right, guys, let's move on. All right, guys, you're going to have a meeting with the manager again after the game that you had, which is going to be a good game that you had. And you're going to meet up with the manager. You're going to be talking and a teammate is going to walk past and, you know, look you up and down for when to leave the team. And he's going to be explaining to the manager, it's not my decision. That's his life and all that other stuff. So this is pretty much going to basically get you to the pretty much the end of the final decision of your trade. So that's what you want to look out for for this meeting with him when y'all celebrating after the game. So, OK, guys, let's move on. OK, guys, this will be the final part where you'd actually be traded to the team of your choice that you made the list at the beginning for requesting for a trade. So after you've done that, you're going to be meeting with your publicist or manager or whatever they call this lady. <laughs> you're going to be meeting with them. And that's going to be the last where you approve your trade and you'll be able to automatically go to the team that you want to choose or the team that your percentage is within the trade. So the team that you choose that you really want to go to, you will be automatically transferred into that team and you will be on that team automatically. And the trade will be complete after you've done meeting this lady, which is your publishers or whatever. So after then that, it's definitely self-explanatory. You're definitely on the team. And that's pretty much all you have to do to be traded to any team in the NBA with your my career player. So I hope this tip will definitely help you guys out. Thank you guys for joining. I'm out of here. Deuces.